so today as by the title you can tell i'm doing a gorgeous winter red lip look and i have some news i already filmed this yes i got it done the makeup looked really gorgeous and then when i was reviewing the footage i noticed there was this is really embarrassing uh there was a booger <laughs> in my nose and i couldn't keep my eye off it and it was so annoying so I have to refilm it. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry to myself. And I'm also sorry because that made my video late. It was tiny, but it was there. It was there. Anyway, let's just get straight on into the video. Starting off with the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I just bought a heap of the Ordinary products. You guys may or may not know Hiram Skin. I saw a heap of people on TikTok reviewing his skincare and all of the results turned out like really great. And recently I got some acne on my cheeks. <laughs> which I've never gotten before and I got it because I waxed my face yeah not fun but it has been going away I've been trying to take care of my skin but again I've been wearing makeup a lot lately so it's really hard I'm also very pale hey, just say. embracing my winter paleness you know all right let's get into brows so I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in dark brown. You guys may or may not know, but I live in Melbourne and we are back in lockdown. We were off lockdown for quite a while and we are back and it is really sad. We're back for six weeks and it's going to be really hard, but at least it's going to force me to get stuff done. By the way, I just really want to create like a really glamorous... Okay, it's like one o'clock and we're in quarantine and there are cars going everywhere. So I'm really sorry if you hear the cars. I don't know what that's about, but yeah, it's been crazy here. The police have been giving out massive fines, like $1,600, and I'm not willing to pay that. <laughs> but yeah, God, everyone just wants to bother me. The wind, the birds, the cars. I have been obsessed with the soap brow look, like the pushed up soap brow look lately. But today we're going for something more glamorous and like sleek, like celebrity inspired makeup look. So we're not going to do the soap brow. So I'm taking the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit and I'm going to push my brows like up and to the side. Whoa! Now I'm taking the Jeffree Star Concealer in the color C5. And I'm going to shape under my brows with this color and put it all on my eyelid. Is it just me or has this year gone like insanely fast? We're in July. What? I remember people would tell me, oh my god, like everything's going to be back open in August. Like we're going to be able to go clubbing in August. And look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. We're back in quarantine in July. So no August clubbing for me. Alright, now I'm I'm taking my NARS concealer in custard and I'm gonna go above, 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 above the brows. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> now I'm taking this crease brush and I will be taking the Nude 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 Beauty Bay palette. And I'm going to start off with the shade Bare Necessity, just everywhere. The eye look we're doing is very matte because we don't want any shimmers or anything to take away from the bold red lip. And yeah, I've heard so many rumors about TikTok being like banned, but it hasn't happened yet. So I wonder what's going to happen with that. Anyway, I used to be on the alt side of TikTok and then I don't know what happened, but I moved to the straight side of TikTok and I'm like, get me out of here. So like every alt TikTok I would see, I would like like it. And I kind of went back for a minute, but then I moved to like conspiracy TikTok and that is crazy and my dad's gonna be really disappointed in me saying this but i'm really gullible and i always like try to explain like weird conspiracy theories to my father and he's like that's not real by the way i'm taking take a hike Ooh, take a hike and i'm just deepening up the outer corner but yeah like the other day i saw a tiktok and this guy there was like suns on each side of the horizon i'm like glitch in the simulation and i sent it to my dad and i'm like that's proof and then he sent me like an explanation back so i feel like everything has an explanation but do you think we are living in a simulation? Like, I don't want to spread false information, but it's freaky. I feel like I'll believe anything that anyone tells me, so I'm very stupid. I'm going to be taking the Jeffree Star again, and I'm going to cut my crease. Right, and I'm going back with this palette. No, no, nude, 42. And I'm taking Delicate. This white shade, and I'm just going to pat that, like, really 
thick on my lid. Yeah. Siobhan, her little sister, and I as well, me, are obsessed with like Mystery Monday videos, like Bella Fiore. It would take so much effort, but I would love to do a case or something like one day. Like, I don't want to make it a series because that's other people's things, but I would like to do like maybe one video on like a case that you guys want some information on. So let me know if you want to see that because that's something different. Shout out Bella Fiore. I've been watching her for years. All right, now it's time for the liner. I'm taking my most favorite liner ever. This is the KVD Vegan Beauty Tattoo Liner. I'm going to line really close to my lash line and then on the outer part of the eye, bring it out and then drag it in. So we'll do this. Now we have a sharp, crisp wing and that looks really good looking straight on but we're not done with the wing so i'm taking this smoky shader flat brush and i'm taking a highlighter so i've been using the highlighter i think it's called showy from the scott barn blush palette and i just pack that on my inner corner so i don't do it later with the rest of my foundation so i'm gonna put this on my brow bone as well really lightly all right and i'll show you how i do my inner eye corner wing so you just want to create like a straight line so like this, and then you want to make sure it's connected to the front half of your eye. And then you have a really nice cat wing. So I'll be back when I finish this wing. Okay, so I've done both eyes. So now I'm going to put on some mascara. It doesn't really matter what mascara you use because you're going to be wearing lashes anyway. I'm taking the Volume Million Lashes by L'Oreal and I'm just going to lightly coat my eyes. All right, so now I will be taking my Lily Lashes in the style Rome and I'm just gluing them with the Joy Lash Glue. And these lashes honestly go with everything and I've worn them so many times. So I really want to invest in some more Lily Lashes. I will see with my lashes on all right so that's pretty much my go-to cat eye liner makeup look it's super achievable it's really matte and it goes with anything and i think it'll suit anyone's eyes so you can continue this look with like a nude lip but i'm gonna do a red lip all right so now it's time for foundation all right so i'm taking the iconic london illuminator this is really good for making your base really tanned i'm gonna blend this in it gives your foundation a really nice glowy base All right so now that I look ridiculous I'm going to put on foundation so I'm taking this silk finish brush and I'm mixing the NARS sheer glow shades Gobi and Syracuse so a really dark and a really light one and it just mixes together to create a really nice perfect shade all right so now I'm taking the hourglass vanish stick in the shade bisque and putting that in all the part I want to highlight and I'm blending it in with this little face shape brush just to get in all the nooks and crannies I I didn't really know what manifestation was until this year on TikTok. Oh my god. So basically there's this app called Rando Nautica and I would do a video going Rando Nauting. However, we're not allowed to because of quarantine. So maybe when quarantine's ended, I'll do that. But I didn't really believe in it. But one night I decided to go Rando Nauting with Shiv and her sister. And honestly, it was shocking how much it worked. I came across it because I saw all these creepy videos like that one, which is honestly like such a sad like it's real these kids found a suitcase with human remains on a beach where the rando nautica app took them and like it was on the news and everything but yeah hopefully everyone gets closure for that and that's just like such a horrifying story in itself that people were shoved into suitcases like what is wrong with this world but anyway enough negativity so i went rando nauting and it was late at night and the first thing we manifested we're like mm, let's just manifest two colors because one color is too easy you'll find colors everywhere but two colors let's do that so the app took us to this like dead end road like a little kind of court it was just this little like road connected to a bigger road this bigger road wasn't a main road but it was like a long residential street and the name of the street was something that meant something to me i'm not gonna say but i was like that's weird anyway remember that street <laughs> So this little road that it took us to was like a little court, but there wasn't houses around it. At the end of the court, there was a school in front of it and on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side of the road, there was a house. And the colors that we manifested were red and blue. And there was probably enough space in the road for like two and a half cars to be parked behind each other. And there was a car parked at the very end of the road. And it was on, but it was parked. It was a black car, but it had its red lights shining. And then next to the car in front of the school, there was a little like a miniature park bench and it was was blue and then the houses on the right hand side the walls of the houses were red 
and also the school was like red brick but that doesn't really count but anyway like that is so significant anyway we're about to leave and then the guy gets out of the car randomly one why was he parked there and two why did he get out and he was wearing all blue you can't say that that is a coincidence i don't know if it is a coincidence i don't know if it's like more prominent because you're actively looking for what you manifest but that was insane and by the way i made sure that we were all very safe because i have automatic locks on my car and i would never put myself or others in danger so we were very safe all right now i'm going to set my face i'm setting it with the kvd translucent powder only under my eyes and i'm doing it with this little face brush now I'm taking the Scott Barnes Sculpting and Contour Palette. So I'm taking the shades Sliced and Chiseled. This is all in the same night. So after that, we manifested animals. So it took us to this house across the street from a park, like a dog park. It wasn't like a specific dog park with parks of dogs. That might be a bit of a reach, but you know. And then this house, out front of the house was a car park and... Oh my god! Uh, and the car had a bumper sticker of a donkey. Like, who has a bumper sticker of a donkey? Like, seriously, who has a bumper sticker of a donkey? Alright, so now I'm taking the shade Chiseled again on this little tiny brush. And I'm going to contour my nose. And the third one it took us to, we manifested water. And it took us to this road that was near a creek, but... Anyway, on the road, we got out of the car because there was like, you know, when people leave like their rubbish to get picked up by other people, like just they leave like unwanted things out the front of the house. There was like one of those and in the pile, there was a kettle and there was like, a cooking pot and the house. You know when you can hear when water's running inside? The person that lived in the house was having a shower so we could hear. So yeah, that was the water one. And then the last one crazy i feel like this last one just proved to me that it actually works so we manifested shoes and fire for the same location and it took us back to that first street not the little street but the first street that the little street was off and siobhan knows someone that lives on this street that she used to do netball with and she told me that if it takes us to this girl's house she used to go to this girl's house after practice and her mum was really funny about shoes so she would always make them take off the shoes and she didn't want smelly messy feet so she'd make them wash their feet like when they came in the house after practice she's like if it takes us to this house that's messed so we get to the street and i roll down the window because it was kind of foggy to look down the little street that we were on before to see if the car was still there which it wasn't and i roll down the window and it stinks of fire like what? And we're in like suburbia, so really random. And it didn't stink of fire the first time that we went to this street. Um, by the way, I'm taking the Scott Barnes blush palette and I'm taking the shades Minimalist, the Striker Rose, and I'm gonna put that on the high points of my cheeks. So yeah, we roll down the window and it stinks of fire. Who's cooking up at like 11.30 at night? Seriously. Anyway, we drive down the road to the pinpoint of the location. And I kid you not, the house that it gave us was next door to the house that Shiv's friend used to live in. So that was freaking insane absolutely insane All right now i'm taking this nude color palette again and i'm taking the shade toast and i'm going to go under my lash line all right so now i'm taking the shade and light contour little palette thing by kvd being a beauty and i'm taking this powder brush and the white powder and i'm going to reverse contour under my eyes and my nose so it's very bright all right so now with the iconic london setting spray i'm going to spray my face and I'm going to highlight with this shade here in the Scott Barnes blush palette. And I'm just going to use my finger and put that on my cupid's bow and my nose. And then with this brush, I'm going to take these two shades together. Very blinding. Blinding. Like a little goes a long way and it's absolutely gorgeous. All right. So now for the red lips, I am taking the Napoleon Pardis. I don't know what shade this is because it's really old. Rococo red, I think. I'm going to take this and I'm going to line my lips. And you want to do this as like neat as possible and I want to really emphasize my cupid's bow and then I am taking the MAC this is a gorgeous dark red lip retro matte liquid lip color in the shade carnivorous this is very dark very bloody very rich and it is amazing so I'm going to do this and focus it more on the perimeter of your lips rather than the middle all right, so now that you've done that with the dark lipstick, I'm taking this L'Oreal J.Lo lipstick in the shade Pure Red, and I'm going to color in the middle of my lips. Like that. Whoa. And I'm just going to clean up the edges with some custard concealer. 
And yeah, that's pretty much the red lip glamorous makeup look all done. Hopefully there were no boogers in my nose this time. But yeah, so this is the finished look. really enjoyed this makeup look this is my first ever red lip tutorial and i'm obsessed with this color it's so flattering so yeah thank you guys so much for watching make sure to like subscribe follow me on instagram at leah halton underscore i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>